Hey, it's Derek and Dave from 4Golf Custom, and today is the Custom Fitters review of the TaylorMade Gapper Low uh, Hybrid Club. This basically is the hybrid for lower handicappers or better players. So if you're thinking of a hybrid and you're not too sure about that big shape, this is the one you should be looking at. Um, I've, I've been using this quite a lot for those sort of low ball flights, hence the name. So also I've been blending it to the irons. Um, what have you been seeing best suited to this? Well, I mean, if we start with your original point, which was, yes, it is certainly a low handicappers product. Although it is relatively easy to hit, it's quite forgiving off the face. So you don't necessarily have to be a low handicapper. If you're looking for a low ball flight of this group, it's exactly the right one to pick. I guess when it arrived, we didn't really know what it was. And we, how it we, we, we had a bit of a moment about it because the, yeah. the price of it was quite expensive. When we were trying to work out, you know, it's, it's, it's a $250 product or a 225 sterling kind of price point. And we were trying to figure out where it's fitted in because we thought it was just a hybrid. But Because traditionally, if it's a, a blending club, you, either hybrid money is the worst case or some of the manufacturers have this at iron pricing, but this was more expensive than a hybrid. Yeah. And I guess it's only when you start to delve down into the bits and pieces involved with putting it together that you start to really understand how this product works. So we know it's quick off the face Super in terms of the, yeah. the way that it's designed, and we'll talk about the tech in a minute. Um, and then obviously it's got that low iron flight Certainly. How have you been setting it up with the hosel? I personally took this out straight away just to try and understand how it worked and went for three days of Lynx Golf. And to be honest, I hit it pretty much at every single tee all three days. So there's a good point. So if you're playing in the wind or you play on the Lynx Golf course or you want something that's lower and more penetrative, Dave had it out up in Port Rush, Royal Port Rush. You gave it a wing out there and you didn't hit driver at all that day. Didn't hit driver at all for three days straight because this thing went so far and so flat and hit fairways all day long. So, so a great well, point, if, if you're struggling off the tee and it's blowing a hoolie, as we say in Ireland, yeah. then this is a good club to be playing. Yeah, but you, again, it was easy off the fairway for the par five. So How did you set the hustle for you? So, because I like the face angle to look a little bit more open, yeah. I used the lower loft setting. Again, you've got four, although there's variations in between. You have high, which is a slightly closed face, low, which is a slightly open face. You have standard, and then you have upright. Upright just being a little bit more draw orientated than the standard side of it. I think what I'll do is, the, the hustle on this is a little bit weird in terms of lower and higher. So in the description below, and I'll put in the, just a little bit of a guide to help you understand it better and what we would use here from a fitting perspective. So it's TaylorMade's M3 or the hybrid tip. So you've got plus or minus one and a half degrees of loft backwards and forwards. Uh, shaft wise, I, I kind of, I've, I've been doing a mix of shafts. It comes with a beautiful uh, KBS hybrid shaft. It's an 80 gram product uh, in that jet black. It looks really smart. But I've been using some heavy graphite for a few players. I've also been actually blending it with irons where I have a player who had, for instance, he had a, a I think he had PXI lightweight steel shaft. And he said, you know what? I think I'd like to have the similar feel in that hybrid as my iron so that it blends better to the three iron. So, um, yeah. what, what have you been using it in specific? Again, what I mean, the the standard stock shaft is really, really good. I, the only other one that I've used with it being a low players product is slightly heavier hybrid shafts because there's only 80 being used in a bit of 90, a little bit of 100 for that kind of really stable, really hard hitter type product. Guess one of the things as well, these are this information is based on fittings. This isn't our personal opinion, although Dave has played the club out in the golf course. This is information when we see clients here and we fit them, this is what it is. So if you like, it's more of a, I guess, a, a fitter's view of what's going on with the products out there. Why don't you subscribe to the channel and then as we re review the product going forward, you'll see the different uh, products and how we've been applying to different players. The, uh, why would you use this instead? Why would you not use this if you were thinking of a hybrid? So for, for hybrid people are thinking, I might get a hybrid, why would I, why would I buy this? I think we, if, we, if we take a step back and look at it as to what is it actually from a product wise perspective. The reality of it is it has a number of different applications. It can replace a fairway wood, it can replace a hybrid, it can replace an iron, it can replace all three. Or driver in your case. Or driver in my case, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. So it, it, as much as it looks one dimensional, there's a number of different applications that you can use this for in a number of different golf courses and in a number of different environments and situations. I guess also, if you, if you think about it, if you've hit hybrid and you're, you're that stronger player or you're that better striker, ball striker, or lower handicapper, I hate the genre, but if you're a lower handicapper and you've hit hybrid and it, and it goes too high, yeah. then this is a product to consider. Exactly, yeah. And it's, that's the way to look at it's it. It's a hybrid distance with a, an iron, with a three iron, two iron flight. Perfect, Very, yeah. very flat through the air, no height on it, straight bullet thing. Easy to hit, 
perfect flight for what you're looking for. So that's what the club will do in terms of the, 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 the fitting side of things. I think we'll have a little look at the tech so I can just give you a steer on uh, how it's put together and how then to best apply it. So TaylorMade are right on trend with design here. This is a beautiful mix of multi-materials that are used to mix together to create this phenomenal type of product. Uh, the first thing is the stainless steel construction. So the whole head is a stainless steel construction, uh, apart from the face, which is a C300 marriaging steel. It sounds a bit technical, but what it allows you to do is when you use a marriaging steel, you can make the steel thinner, and then you can make it strong as well so that it reflects into the next technology, which is the speed foam. This is like an expanding foam. It's injected into the head, and then it expands right across the face. What that then allows the face to do is to flex into it, which is where you get the incredible speeds from. The other thing then is the adjustable hosel. Really important for those better players out there because it allows us to angle and shape the head to suit the type of strikes um, and that allows us to maybe set it up to the suit the type of player even more and dial it in even closer. The last technology then is the where the CG is placed. So the central weight at the back of the club is pulled down deep and low, which creates this lower ball flight. So if you are that better player out there and you're looking to keep the ball flight flat, but you need a hybrid solution, this kind of a driving iron type scenario, the shape and the profile of it will keep the ball flight flat and moving forward, but will help to bridge that gap or those distances between fairway wood and your last iron. It also comes in a mid and a high version, which if you're a higher handicapper looking for more flight, there are other designs within this range that you can access. I hope you're enjoying the content. It's all about how we fit with the product. It's not our opinion. It's what we actually do to the club. That's how we set it up for different players. So if you do like it, please subscribe to the channel. I've also got some other tailor-made videos that we've done. I'll pop the links to those in here as well. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video.